what happens if like she doesn't walk down the aisle and I'm like standing there? I'm definitely gonna cry. Nicola Peltz is the woman of the hour these days. She's been acting since she was very young, and although she hasn't been in any A-list blockbuster movies, she's definitely made her mark on Hollywood. Additionally, her facial features have changed extensively over the years to more closely resemble what Hollywood values as attractive, leaving many to believe that she has gotten quite a bit of plastic surgery to change her looks over the years. And now, after dating Brooklyn Beckham for some time, the son of Victoria and David Beckham, Nicola has officially tied the knot with him only a few days ago. Today we're covering Nicola Peltz. Tomorrow though, you decide. Let us know in the comments down below who you think we should cover on the next episode of Where Are They Now? And please don't forget to like this video so we know to keep making more videos similar to this one. Nicola was born in New York as the daughter of model Claudia Hefner and Nelson Peltz. Nelson is an American billionaire who was the founding member of a giant investment management fund based in New York. He is also the former director of H.J. Hines Company, that massive food business most noted for their exceptional ketchup, if you ask me. As of October 2021, his net worth was estimated to be $1.7 billion. Nicola grew up with a silver spoon in her mouth to the umpteenth degree. Due to her privilege, she pretty easily got into acting with her film debut happening in the Christmas comedy Deck the Halls. She was a child actor in a few other random comedies and such. Notably, in 2010, Nicola played Katara in the atrocious live-action adaptation of Avatar The Last Airbender, which was directed by M. Night Shyamalan. In 2013, she was also in Bates Motel as a love interest of young Norman Bates. When I first read this story, I was like, who is Nicola Peltz? She was just kind of around movies, but when I saw the blonde-eyed Instagram influencer-looking woman, I didn't recognize her. Then, I saw that she was in Avatar The Last Airbender, which for the real heads, that's what this tattoo is referencing. Then, I saw who she played and I was like, uh, there must be some mistake here. They look literally nothing alike. I, and I think the rest of the internet, were absolutely shocked to see how her face had changed so tremendously throughout the years. In 2010, when the live action Avatar was released, Nicola had brown hair, a long and sharp jawbone structure, and a normal person's nose. Then, fast forward three years to 2013, she dyes her hair blonde. She's also got a totally brand new nose, and it's extremely slender and shapely. Her chin is also much softer, and it is very obvious that she's gotten work done to her face to make her jawline appear softer and more feminine. In 2015, her face is much more heart-shaped, indicating that she'd been getting small, inconspicuous surgeries throughout the year to make it seem not noticeable. It reminds me a lot of Bella Hadid's facial surgeries as well. In 2016, there were some extensive lip fillers, which made absolutely no sense to me because her lips were genuinely quite full naturally. But also, that's just what's popular these days, I guess. Nowadays, she sports self-tanner, very injected lips, and a completely different face. I genuinely couldn't identify who she was until I saw a year-by-year -year article about her facial surgeries. I mean, no hate to her, honestly, though. The work itself is really well done, and I wouldn't be able to tell it was surgery if it weren't for the before pictures. But still, wow, she looks completely different and much more aligned with modern beauty standards than she did back in 2010. Her eyes also look further apart too, but that's probably because of the slimming nose job. She and Brooklyn Beckham were first linked in October 2019 at a Halloween party. However, in a GQ couples quiz video, Brooklyn revealed that they had actually known each other for five years. Quote, we knew of each other. We ran into each other multiple times. I was actually friends with two of her brothers, Diesel and Brad, and she did not like me. Then, when we started hanging out, which was about three Halloweens ago, which was when we had our very first kiss, we started hanging out every night and we drove around till like seven or eight in the morning. All we did was drive around to LA and, you know, I showed that I could be, that I am a gentleman and she fell in love with me. They went public with their relationship in January 2020 and got engaged six months afterwards in June 2020. In February 2022, Brooklyn Beckham had an appearance on The Late Late Show with James Corden where he opened up about exactly how he proposed to Nicola. Quote, I proposed in the countryside in New York in Bedford. I filled a gazebo with a bunch of flowers, her favorite flower is peonies, a bunch of peonies flowers, candles, her favorite wine, some caviar. I had the ring up there, it was hiding behind some flowers. We walked all the way up this huge hill, there was an amazing view of this huge river. 
That's very sweet and romantic. It's kind of a nice gesture. Although Brooklyn did admit that the proposal had one embarrassing moment when he struggled to open the wine bottle. Quote, after 10 minutes, I finally opened it, poured her a glass, and then I got on my knees. She didn't know what I was doing. I always tell her how much I love her. I love doing that stuff all the time. When Brooklyn finally asked Nicola to be his wife, he recalled that Nicola started crying. Quote, she didn't answer me for another five minutes. She just kept crying. I was like, is it a yes? Is it a no? It was a little bit nerve wracking. And now, just a few days ago, Nicola and Brooklyn finally tied the knot. The couple wed in Palm Beach, Florida at Nicole's family estate. The wedding was extremely classic and chic, which contrasts David Beckham's and Victoria Beckham's lavish and opulent 1999 ceremony. Nicola wore a classic square neck Valentino wedding dress that is jaw droppingly stunning in its simplicity. Her makeup was also classy and beautiful. The makeup artist described it as, quote, we decided on a very fresh, natural look. Barely there, but with a few interesting details that will pop under the veil. The intention was to accentuate her natural features, while also adding a few modern, not so traditional details. When asked about the process of choosing Valentino for her wedding dress, Nicola stated, quote, we've been to Rome twice, watching everyone at the atelier, they're just so talented. The first time I went to Rome, I brought my mom and my brother Brad, who actually was my man of honor. And then Leslie Fermer, who, who's one of my best friends in the whole world. It was a really exciting, beautiful thing to be a part of, and it's very exciting. Oh, and did I mention that Victoria Beckham wore a 15 karat pear cut diamond and, and a yellow gold necklace worth approximately uh, 2 million pounds to the wedding? Holy cannoli, Batman, that's like 2.6 million American dollars. Woof. The wedding guest list was, of course, star-studded. Obviously, all of the Beckhams were there, along with Mel C, Serena and Venus Williams, Gordon Ramsay, and Eva Longoria were among the 600 guests. After the ceremony, David Blaine performed magic tricks for guests during a cocktail hour in a separate tent. Mark Anthony later performed four songs for the newlyweds at the reception, which was held in a third tent. In a very sweet moment, in lieu of gifts, Nicola's father asked for donations to be made in support of Ukraine during his wedding speech. They had announced their engagement on Instagram when Brooklyn posted a photo of the two getting close with the caption, quote, two weeks ago, I asked my soulmate to marry me and she said, yes, I'm the luckiest man in the world. I promise to be the best husband and the best daddy one day. I love you, baby. Nicola commented on the post, quote, you've made me the luckiest girl in the world. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life by your side. Your love is the most precious gift. I love you so, so much. Yuck. <laughs> the two have never been shy about sharing their love for one another, often posting extremely intimate photos with, un with one another and share showering each other with affection in the comments. Nicola also got Brooklyn's name tattooed onto her upper back in cursive. So let's hope the divorce papers don't get served anytime soon, especially because Brooklyn himself is only 23 years old. That's my age, and I can barely take care of myself, let alone get married. But celebrity lives are much more different than normal ones, I guess. So, based on that Instagram post and how fast this relationship has gone, do you think a baby may be on the way this year? Let us know in the comments down below. While you're down there, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you can be notified when we post next. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Where Are They Now? I've been your host, Sierra. See you guys next time.